Yo, what's good, my soggy socks? Today we're back with another video. Today we got another LC snake game. Today we got Haste Up versus OP. Now, as we can see, OP, this man did not want to build. He was like, all right, we got all the brokens. That's it. But Haste Up, Haste Up actually brings the creativity. This man has a cottony with some nice memento support, supporting that nice corefish with the, uh, either the sword dance or the dragon dance, maybe even supporting a bulk up trap. Was it Mon called or the fucking Timber? I was going to say Trubbish, but this is definitely a Timber. Then he got a nice Ponyer. This might be a Scarfer to give some extra speed control. And, um, yeah, just have some nice extra speed control in Ponyer because it doesn't have to have the rocks because that rocker is obviously Onyx. Unless he's like some wild Onyx, which does not exist. Like, every Onyx has rocks, obviously. And then the Vallabi could either be something to help take on Fungus because his team is, like, kind of molested by Fungus. Like, look at, look at this. His team is, like, either he has to have, like, Fungus, Lure, Flying, EMZ, Corefish, but even then, it might be it might actually be overcoat, but it could also be weak armor to give some extra speed control support. We will see. Let's just dive right into this. OP, like I said, did not want to. This man was like, "All right, creativity. Hmm, who is that? Let me just bring all the broken." So he fakes out the cottony. Is that does a sh fat chunk? I think that might be Dark and EMZ because Dark and EMZ Memento. For the people who don't know, if you hit that and then you switch into your next Pokemon, your next Pokemon gets healed completely. I don't think a Violet -like Cottony would take that much from Mianfu uh, fake out, unless it's like offensive Mianfu maybe. But even then. I don't know, Cottony is like a bit fat, like that's almost a quarter of its HP. So let's see what Mianfu is going to do here, I guess he can U-turn out, I actually don't know Cottony's speed <laughs> from the top of my head, as this man switches from Dazzling Gleam Week to Dazzling Gleam Week, obviously he does have the Barrier Juice to back that shit up, so it is fine, I think Ponyard would have been a better play, but I don't know, I guess, I guess it worked, right, but uh, unfortunately Barrier Juice did get popped, now I can just fire off a knockoff for free or a Brave Bird, um, Hasep is never going to stay in with his Cottony, here just sack it to a Brave Bird. Again, I don't know Cottony's speech off the top of my head. I should have actually researched this. I'm pretty sure it's 16. I'm not sure. I think it's 16 or 17. It's definitely going to be able to outspeed this Vallabi, but it's not going to be able to one-shot it. Um, I guess he can Dazzling Gleam and go for a double down because Vallabi is going to kill itself off of Recoil or, or go for the knockoff, which is going to do jack shit to Cottony, especially if it has a Z-move, if Hasep is wild. Otherwise, he can go out into Onyx or, I guess, his own Vallabi. Now, I think, like, none of his plays really work outside of Onyx, so he, he, does, he does just go to Onyx as... OP just goes for a U-turn, wants to be safe, as Onyx's weak armor activates. Now OP can go back out into Mianfu or Fungus, both work. I like Mianfu a bit more, though. It's because Mianfu actually puts in some nice work against Hasep's team, just knocking off everything. And Fungus is just a bit passive, especially if Hasep has Overcoat. I guess OP could just go into Fungus, because if Hasep does not have Overcoat, Hasep's team is just going to have to sack him on to sleep, which I guess OP could go for that as well, but just going into Fungus and firing off a Sludge Bomb to scout for overcoat or he just goes into he actually goes into his own onyx which i guess does make sense because he does want to get up his rocks um yeah this is actually factual it does kind of make sense sort of maybe a bit i actually don't know if hasop's onyx dies in one two op's onyx earthquake i know he's at minus one but it is a violet onyx and uh, onyx has some like huge defense like onyx is a broken ass mon this man has huge speed huge defense this man has huge everything huge attack too so i don't know how well onyx is going to be taking this eq hasop's onyx is going to outspeed but um, either, like, we don't know OP's, uh, OP's Onyx is set. I think it, I don't know, I was going to say I think it's weak armor because he doesn't have hazard removal, but he can always just endure to profit off of Barrage just uh, sturdy. So it doesn't, uh, like, you can't really tell what the Onyx is. Both sets are extremely viable. So, like, if Hasep goes for the EQ here and uh, OP's Onyx just, like, gets right back to full, he didn't really accomplish too much. And if Hasep goes for the rock move trying to break the sturdy, and OP's weak armor procs, he doesn't really activate too much either. So the play, uh, in my opinion, is just a switch out. He can go in into either Timber, or I guess Cottony would work as well. So as, oh, oh my lord, oh, what was this play? It's weak armor, but it ate it up. How? How did it just slurp that up, and why did he go for Tectonic Rage? These are some questions that I have. All right, first of all, if he was just 30 juice, he would have just eaten that up for breakfast. Like, all right, that's, like, another question I have is how did that not kill? Like, I mean, Hazep is just wild. This man's like, yeah, sturdy juice on set. Uh, so, <laughs> I mean, I guess it does make sense for it to be weak armor, but still, like, also, how did a Z move super effectively not kill Onyx? This is what I mean with Onyx is super fat. Like, look at how fucking fat this boy is. So now this is going to be a speed type. I think Hazep's Onyx can slurp up an EQ, though, and OP's Onyx is going to topple over. OP could get out of the situation by going into Fungus, though, just to get an out, but then, I guess Hazep, if, if Hazep is the goat, he rocks is here on the Switch. As OP goes into either Mianfu or Fungus to slurp up some hits. But then again, if Hazep's like Explosion, he can uh, EQ into Explode on either the Mianfu or the Fungus. So, I don't know. OP might just go for the speeds out here and stack off his Onyx. Because it's at 5% right now. It's just going to get like molested by everything. Like, look at 
OP's Onyx doesn't really do too much in this game. It's just going to get killed by priority from a lot of Hey Subs Pokemon. Like, three of his Pokemon have priority. The other one is also an Onyx. OP's Onyx dies to rocks if Hey Sub gets the mob right here. So, I think OP's place is just go for the speed die. If he wins that, he's in a great spot. If he loses it, uh, whatever. He just gets a free switch into something else. As Hey Sub goes into Cottony here. As you see, OP actually does uh, just go for the speed die. As Cottony's um, item is not Z-Move, it is Berry Juice. So I was correct in it not being a Violet, but it's Berry Juice instead. Which I guess does make sense. I'm not too big on what the fuck this Mon does, but uh, all I know is it's pretty cute. So Now, OP's Onyx can go for a big hit with either a Rock Blast or an Explosion if he packs that. He most likely does not have Explosion, though, because he needs Dual Stab plus... Um, actually, I was going to say he needs Dual Stab plus Endure, but it's not Sturdy Juice. What am I saying? He could still have Explosion for sure, yeah. Because he only needs dual staples of rocks, so his last move could be a boom, and that could be that could hurt this cottony pretty um, pretty heavily. Now Hasup does get prankster priority, but I don't know how much that uh, I don't know how much that um, like he doesn't really have damaging prankster priority is what I'm trying to say. Like he can go for like a priority move, but then Onyx still gets its attack off. Like Onyx is gonna get an attack off on this poor cottony no matter what. And I think that is OP's play. As Hesa tries to predict the Rock Blast here, like a, oh my lord, like a god. Uh, as he gets it in on the explosion, which works as well, yeah, let them. Hesa really does not mess around with speed ties. Expertly pivoting from Cottony back to Onyx just to uh, avoid the speed tie, which is actually a really great play by Hesa. Really nice pivoting by him right there. Now OP can just switch into either his Mianfu or Fungus. Doesn't really have another play. All the other plays are like way too wild. Like, he doesn't really have a reason to go into anything else. So, I guess he could go into Mianfu and just fire off a fat high jump kick. Although the Cottony could just come in on that, so he might need to play around with that. And like I said before, the Fungus is a huge problem to Hesop's team, especially if the Vullaby is not overcoat, because then the Sport is going to put someone to bed. Like, the only Pokemon that's immune to Sport is Cottony, and that dies in one to Sludge Bomb, so he does decide to go into Fungus, which I agree with. Now, he can either fire off a Giga Drain to kill the Onix, or a Sludge Bomb to predict that Vullaby from coming in. Or a spore to predict like the Parnier to from to predict the Parnier to come in, or predict like the I mean I was gonna say the Timber, but that doesn't really work. Or predict like the uh, Volibi to come in and not have Overcoat. So this is like there's no real good play here. It's just like just like a kind of a 50-50 type scenario. Hasep can just get up his rocks though. To be honest, like this man can just get up his rocks if he gets the play correct and if he gets it in on this. If he if OP goes for the Sludge Bomb or goes for the Spore, he's in a great spot. This is why I think OP should just Giga Drain, because I think Hazep's play is go for the Rocks. Because the Rocks actually put in some nice work this game still. Against um, OP's... As he actually goes for the Protect, which, yeah, it does work. I guess he wants to scout out the attack with Protect, which is um, kind of an... I was going to say kind of an uncommon move, but I've seen Protect ran on a lot of Pokemon, like Onyx and Pharisee lately. Just just, just a, like a huge middle finger to me and Fusai Jump Kick. So he does just fire off and protect the scout. Now he does get the, the rocks, which is a play I agree with. And OP makes the correct play and predicts that. Kills the Onyx right there. Now Hasep can go into his Vullaby for free. Or, yeah, he doesn't really have another play. He can go to Pawnier and try to knock, but yeah, Vullaby's just a better play. In that case, especially if it's Overcoat, he's in a good spot. Because OP can't really do anything back. He does decide to go into Pawnier, though. If this is a substitute, that's, this is amazing, but that's kind of an unset. Otherwise... I think OP could just eat up the... I was going to say he could just eat up the hit and spore this Ponyard, but then that will leave him quite vulnerable to Corefish. Uh, if the Corefish has anything other than knockoff plus his two water moves and Sword Zen. So I'm not too sure about letting this Fungus take the hit. So Hazep is just... I mean, Hazep is kind of forcing this out. I don't know though, because if Hazep has the flying move on Corefish, it's going to be able to bop this Fungus back anyway. But yeah, if OP doesn't want to take the hit with Fungus, he can go to Mianfu anyway to just eat up the hit from Ponyard. If this Ponyard has sub, I guess he could click it here. Um, kind of a wild move, kind of an unmove to have on a Ponyard, though. And I suspect this to be a Scarf variant. Although he doesn't, he definitely doesn't need to if he has Aqua Jet from Corefish, Mach Punch from Timber, and a potential Sucker Punch from a Aviolite ver uh, version of Ponyard. So, I mean, Mianfu does come out, OP makes a safe play here. I assume he's just going to throw off a knockoff. Does jack shit to Mianfu because that boy is fat and that's a nice resisted hit right here. So OP can just throw off a high jump kick. I assume uh, Hazep is going to go into Cottony. If OP predicts that, he just goes for the U turn here. The problem is if he. Um, if Hazep is wild and he stays in with the Ponyard on the U turn, uh, OP is in a bit of a shit spot. But yeah, we, I assume a U turn is going to get tossed off here. Yup. Then big OP making some nice juicy plays. So now he can go to Diglett if he has Sludge Bomb, which is a huge unmove. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying this. It's kind of a meme. So he can go into Ponyard as well. Ponyard is going to be able to block Prankster moves. 
while also not taking jack shit from Cotney's dual stab. So, Cotney actually kind of has a shit matchup, which kind of sucks this game because of the two dark types, especially one of them being Ponyard. And the other one also being a Pokemon to Bob Cotney and one with the Brave Bird. So, uh, I would have loved to see my big my man Big Cotton put in some more work. But, looking at mods I can put in work, my man Corfish is looking like a threat. Um, looking a bit dangerous here. So, the Fungus is out, especially if it's like Flyz Onset, he can blow past everything, <laughs> kind of. Um, if it's like Flyzy, he still needs to weaken the Ponyard if it's not Dragon. If it's like Flyzy Dragon Dance, he can blow past everything at this point, especially with Mian Fu knocked. I uh, assume it dies, like, I assume it dies to plus one Crab Hammer while knocked. Like, there's no way it doesn't. That's adaptability and shit. And I think the Vullaby would die as well if it's Berry Juice after Rock. So, the knockoff does come out from the Cottony. So, Fungus does get knocked. And now Corvish is in an even better spot if he is not Flyzy. So, this is really scary for OP to have to deal with Big Crab in the back. Now, Hazeup can just go to Vullaby for free. Or to Ponyard, I guess. I mean, Ponyard doesn't really make sense. Um, he can go to Ponyard and fire off an Iron Head, but it doesn't even kill. So, just think Vullaby is the better play. Just to go Vullaby and fire off either a knockoff predicting the Ponyard or fire off a Brave Bird. Or a U-turn, maybe even. He can fire off uh, a number of different moves. But, Ponyard might be one of the only mons on OP side that's going to be able to put in work. So, I don't know if he wants to let that get knocked. Like, he still needs to, he still needs to take into account the big red crab that I see over there. And that big rat crab is looking like a huge, huge, huge threat. And if it's like Swords Dance, it can blow past a lot of shit with a plus two Aqua Jet. So if he lets his Ponyard get knocked, um, that could really suck for him as well. He lets it get chipped by the Brave Bird. Now, if Hayseup goes for the knock here, that might be a bit of an L. Because um, then the Ponyard, I don't know if it's in range of plus two Aqua Jet if it's Swords Dance Crab, but I'm not too sure about that. I don't know the Crab Calyx off the top of my head, but. I know, all I know is that crap hits for a shit ton, and that, that boy is broken as fuck, so. The Timber does come out from Hayseup, which is the correct play. I didn't, I didn't even talk about the correct play there, but it's obviously going to the fighting type on the Mon Quad Week to fighting. So now, OP can just go into Fungus pretty safely. If Hayseup wants to predict that he fires off a Ice Punch, potentially boosted by Iron Fist, which I don't know if that will to a kill, because I do not remember what Fungus' HP is at, but all I know is that there's a shit ton, because Fungus is knocked, and there's rocks up. as Iron Fist boost, and a shit super effective, so. I don't know. I don't know if uh, OP's Fungus is 2 hit killed by that. So the Iron Head does come out. There's a shit on the Timber. As the Drain Punch comes out, Big Haste up predicting that. Let's not fuck around with Ice Punch plays. OP tries to catch him on the Ice Punch right there, but just firing out, firing that off. And even if the play went wrong like this, he can still trap it with Diglett right now. Uh, after this, I guess, Haste up can just go to Corfish to revenge this with an Aqua Jet, which is pretty nice. So he's just going to have to let Timber go. Um, fire off a Mach Punch, I guess. Uh, does he does he need to mock? Uh, I was gonna say does he? Yeah, no, mock punch is always the play. Big unseal, but yeah, mock punch is definitely always the play. As far as off a mock punch, is a shit ton Diglett's uh, in range of everything. Now he has to tectonic rage. I did, I don't know if he had to, but yeah, <laughs> I mean he probably calculated and he realized he had to. Um, so now Hazel can just go into big crab and fire off an aqua jet. But the problem is big fungus is in the back just lurking. So. Um, I assume OP is just gonna sack Diglett to Corfish if it comes out here because he can't he can't let Corfish shut up at all. Like letting Corfish shut up is just a death sentence, so he should just sack off Diglett here. To be honest, Diglett doesn't. I mean, Diglett can put in some work, obviously, but it dies to Sucker Punch from this range, and it dies to Scarf Ponyard's attack as well. It dies to like all attacks, and it doesn't really do too much against Vullaby. I know it has super effective Rock Slide against Vullaby, but it doesn't really do too much. So if you're OP, I think you just Earthquake here. But the problem is, if it's a Violet Corvage, it's going to be able to slurp up that Earthquake for free, actually. And, actually, if it's a Violet, um, it just sets up on this for free, because I don't know how much EQ does. Yeah, I think you might actually have to switch in fear of a Violet as the Aqua Jack comes out. So, if that was a Violet, it, it might have just been able to set up on my man, Diglett, because EQ doesn't do jack shit. So, now this comes out. If it's Flies, it's going to bop this Fungus right back to another dimension. If Even if it's Aerial Ace, it might bop it in one. But I know Aerials doesn't get the adaptability boost. Corvish isn't that strong. So if Vullaby comes out, here we'll see what set it is. Berry Juice, so that indicates that it's probably... Um, why? Why? What was the reason for Sludge Bombing there? What? Well, I don't really get that. Um, I don't get the reason for not Sporing there. Um, I guess he was scared of the Overcoat Vullaby. So he wanted to hit that. But I don't know. It's definitely the less common set. In either way, uh, OP is just going to be able to outspeed this Hayseup's Vullaby. I assume Hayseup is just going to go into Ponyard, though. Because uh, it just, like, eats up any attack. Actually, he could have he could have sacked the Vullaby. I'm trying to hover over 
the mons uh, like like in a real game but I don't know how much HP the uh, Hazeup's Volibee is I don't know if it dies to rocks but at least like if it dies to rocks it just guarantees it's safe switching into my man Corefish so now Mianfu is in um, this is like a bit of an L if it is Scarf it's locked into Scarf Sucker which is a set so it's not Scarf it just goes to the Iron Head to chip away at this Mianfu and fucking dies but the question is does Bay Corefish pull through here that is the question we've all been asking if does Bay Corefish pull through actually I'm actually not sure if Corefish has the power to do this um, again big unseal not knowing what this Volibee is at but I think it's like it took like 40 from I don't know I don't know I think the uh, I think Hayseb's Volibee still has a bit of HP like 10% after rocks I think it's fine but if he goes to Corefish here he can definitely eat up an attack he can definitely eat up an HJK but I don't know if he can eat up like he needs to eat up a high jump kick into a potential sucker punch from Diglett if Diglett has that or otherwise he needs to out out play all the suckers I guess um, or I guess he also needs to be able to eat up uh, he needs to be able to eat up high jump kick plus fake out from Yanfu so I don't know if Corfish will be able to win Volibee does come out here though as I said Volibee does have some HP I said 10 it actually does have 20 it is going to be able to outspeed and kill this Mianfu potentially if this Mianfu is a slow boy and this Volibee um, is just going to be able to outspeed it then if the Volibee outspeeds this Mianfu is going to get a free kill with Brave Bird here the question is what does OP want in that doesn't like Corfish set up uh, I guess he can just sack off Fungus here uh, well he actually hmm, he wants Fungus to be in he can sack off Diglett here actually and then go into yeah you can sack off Diglett but I don't think you uh, yeah I was gonna say you can sack off Diglett and then go into Fungus but Volibee's not gonna take shit from Rico or from this I guess you can go to back to Mianfu and fake out as well which is the only play there but I don't know if Corfish can set up on on this Mianfu I'm not sure. I'm not sure what Big Corfish is, Big Corf Daddy is gonna do here. All I know is that Fake Out's gonna come out here, and Hayseup's only place is just stay in and just take it. If this Fake Out doesn't kill the Volibee somehow, uh, it's a, a bit of an L for the boys, but I assume it does kill. It's 16%. It's not a Violite. Uh, I assume it's just gonna topple over. Mianfu is not that weak. So, yep, it does topple over. So let's see this Corfish. Let's see if my man Corfish can put in some work and make the thumbnail. If the Corfish is in the thumbnail, you already know it's gonna be put in some work. SD comes out. U turn comes out. Ooh. OP goes hard into Fungus, but what if it packs the tag? What if it packs the aerial ace? Oh, Uncle, Uncle Don. Oof, man's got sent back to the basement. Mianfu coming out. Mm, no, 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 no. I don't think so, my man. Is this is this gonna drop in one? <laughs> is this gonna drop in one? I I don't really believe it. Like, Corfish is definitely gonna drop to high jump kick, even if it's a Violet, right? There's no way Corfish eats high jump kick from there. Corfish is not that fat. If it is a Violet, and if it if it does eat, it can just crab hammering or Aerial Ace and just snag up this kill. Uh, Aerial Ace is the play if that does kill because it has 100% accuracy. I think crab hammer is like 90 or 95. But um, if Corfish doesn't eat, which I don't think it does eat, I don't know if Mianfu. I know Mianfu is knocked. I know this is plus two. I know it's adaptability. I know Corfish has like shit ton of attack. Fake Out does come out. Yeah, I don't know. There's no way it eats HJK. Yeah, especially not after Fake Out. So this Aqua Jet needs to one tap. Does it one shot Mianfu? There's no actual way. There is. No way. <laughs> um, yeah, there's there's no actual way Mianfu. Um, oh, what? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, it was too slow. Wait, is Corf how fast is this piece of shit Corfish? What? Dude, I thought I was under the illusion that Corfish had like max 12 speed. The fuck? Ooh, nice big unsealed commentary. Dude, I was like, there's no way Corfish wins this, right? Because um, there's no way Aqua Jack kills, but. Uh, big unseal, not knowing that this core can actually outspeed. Poof, my LC metagame knowledge is off the charge. This is why you watch Seal for the commentary. You could have just looked at the replay, and instead of 20 minutes, you could have spent a solid 2 minutes. But what do you do? You're here for the commentary. You're here for that expert analysis. So the screen fades to black, and um, my eyes fade to black as well as my uncle sneaks it from behind me. Enjoy your day, my sires.